Hi, and welcome back to Broken Out Broken. You're probably wondering where I've been for the last two weeks. Well, the last week I've been working outside and I did a compilation video for you guys of my husband versus me for our work that we've gotten accomplished. Now, it's still a bloody mess out there, so I do apologize, but uh, we'll start off with the moving of the chicken coop area. For those of you that don't own chickens and uh, have never had an indoor outdoor run for them what I'm digging out is their deep litter mulch I had to get it out of there I need to be able to use my greenhouse at this time of year so I move that out to the composters distribute it within the gardens while Jason was doing this <laughs> For those of you that are wondering what's going on with my one eye, I got hit with a stick while doing uh, the compost right in the eye, which causes this lovely red mark right there. So my eye's fine, guys. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't have pink eye or anything weird. But let's continue on with the footage. Now, the prying eyes garden. The prying eyes garden. Now, on this particular day, it was really windy and really cold. And this garden is approximately... 60 feet long and seven feet across from the other original bed that's behind me. If you look, you'll see straw in the video there. That's where the old bed is. The reason it looks like I'm having such a hard time is I'm digging through roots from an old Manitoba maple we took down years ago. After working on that for two days pulling sod I only had about 10 feet to go and Jason saw the struggle and came to my rescue with this kids and I have been chipping away at this Manitoba maple trying to get it out but we have a friend with equipment that's going to take out all the stumps the two sugar maples and the Manitoba for us and I'll show you what he got done back fence sugar maple look at the size of that root ball I'm gonna hop down here and I'm gonna use me as an example of how deep this is that he had to dig in order to you know pull it up sideways he can't lift it with the mini so we're gonna have to get bigger equipment and that should be coming tonight to help us out now, I'm five foot four and this bad boy is over my shoulder and I'm in the hole so you can see that dirt above my head he had to dig down pretty deep in order to even show us the roots of this root ball. It's massive and Jay's Chevy is not going to pull this out. So we're going to get, uh, like I said, bigger equipment out here to try to help us out. While Jay was working on rototilling the big bed and the uh, prying eye garden, I was moving the composters as well as water drums away from the greenhouse. We currently have a clean slate here. There's no uh, deep mulch in the greenhouse. My plants are in there. I'm going to give you a show of how our uh, plants are doing. Cuttings are budding out here. I just put them in yesterday. My sad starts aren't doing so well, but I just brought them out yesterday. Maybe they'll perk up a bit, but I started them late. Look at how clean that is, guys. There's no more composters there water drums. Jason also removed the uh, picket fence from the front yard that is over 40 years old. You guys can see my yard looks pretty darn naked without my fence. We had to remove the fence because it became unsafe. Uh, it had been hit by snow plows multiple times and we had to go out and fix it multiple times and it was old and rotting and as much as I'm gonna miss seeing it, I can do something better out there and I plan on doing something way better than that picket fence. 